Okay, uh, welcome to BS Live. This is um, Blender tutorial running on the iPad Pro. So I'm actually running this on Mac OS Big Sur Beta and it's connected to my iPad Pro from MacBook Pro uh, via the feature called Sidecar. So Blender, we're gonna be doing a bit of blending. Uh, just a basic one, just texture painting, just really random. But in the end, you're gonna have, you know, something that you can display as AR. So the idea is re actually really simple. Like this is a Blender 2.83, right? If you want to make an AR really, this is the default, right? And if you want to just do a quick painting, you just go to texture painting. And then you, if you start painting, it's gonna complain missing textures detected. Okay, so this guy already have material assigned by default. This is the default cube, right? Uh, but we need a texture. So for the base color here, I'm gonna assign an image texture, create new. This is the default value, 1024 by 1024 pixel. Just hit okay. If I just, you know, like randomly paint it um, on the iPad, I can use this Apple Pencil. If I'm using Apple Pencil, I have this kind of uh, pressure sensitivity. Uh, which is pretty handy. I can actually, I need to press really hard to get maximum value, but I can mix color like that. This is like the, the basic idea. Once I've done with it, I can save the texture. Oh, so by default, you can't see the texture unless you turn on texture here, or you go to a different rendering and you can see the texture now with uh, a little bit better with with light, etc. But from here, if you wanna turn it into AR, you just hit export, GLB, and save it to the desktop. So this is gonna be default cube, export GLTF. So this is just the basic idea, and I'm gonna switch to Reality Converter app. So this is also uh, something that comes with Mac, Mac OS uh, for free from Apple. You just drag and drop your default cube. We're gonna turn it into USDZ format. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, okay, this is the reality comforter and this is the, the preview. And this is the base color that we just created in Blender. Just gonna share it. I'm gonna add drop it into the, iP the, the iPad Pro. So by default, it's gonna do this. So it's like sending it to itself. I usually put it in the files app under USDZ. So by default, it's gonna put the AR for us like that. So that's really the process. It's really basic and simple. Now I wanna uh, kind of go back and show you the show you more about blender so let's see done so i believe uh, it's kind of interesting if you are actually if you're not like you're not a 3d person you want to play around with blender a little bit you can it's a uh, it's open source you can do a bit of 3d if you just want to like Play around with the 3D model. Uh, you can go to something like Sketchfab. Maybe just do uh, uh download the GLTF or USDZ and then start to mark around with it. Display some nice 3D assets from Sketchfab, or make your own. Okay, so Blender. This is again Blender 2.83 official. And by default, when you first open Blender, you have the camera default cube light this is the outliner this is the view uh, by default there's also this animation timeline where you can make animations if you do a keyframing you know like hit i move it hit i this one will create animations and you can render it out or for what we are doing making ar usdz you can just export it out usually i always recommend to everyone to use GLB Blender there 
there are actually there's actually Blender add-on that allows you to export directly to USDZ, but no, normally GLB is a good uh, kind of like a medium. Uh, and there's also export as USD here. It doesn't support texture yet. So this is actually something that you need to look in the future. This is actually official from Blender. So yeah, with all this, we can select all and delete. So we have nothing in the 3D scene. So get used to the 3D view to see the, all these properties. Um, I'm gonna create a new object. We're gonna add mesh monkey. You can also use shift A to get to, you just pick one of this mesh. So this is the 3D monkey head, Suzanne. Uh, it's called Suzanne. So by default, this object doesn't have material. So if you want to paint right away, go to texture paint mode, it's going to complain. Missing materials, textures detected. Okay. Um, from this layout, actually this is like the default layout, right? You actually given, you're given a lot of uh, this, uh, uh, what is it called? Workspace presets already for modeling, sculpting, texture paint, etc. You can make your own, but I, I'm just going to be using this default layout and make changes. So first, if you want to do just a quick texture painting, maybe a little bit of sculpting, um, you can, you need to give a material. So this, uh, I just assign a material for Susan. And what's happening in the background, if I split this workspace under the shader, we have this principal BSDF assigned into the material. This is the shader node, one of the shader node. And it, it comes with all this PBR uh, slot, shader slot. But we're gonna focusing on, on the base color only for now. If we give a different color, for example, red, you can't see the changes until you go to a different rendering. Okay, we have red color, you can make changes. Normally you just uh, you can just render this out, but if you want to make like AR USDZ stuff, you file you go file export GLB and then let the iPad or the iPhone do the rendering for you. So let's save this very quickly. I always uh, always save your work. So this is just a quick demo. Always save as a blend file. And anytime you can always, you know, export GLB. And this is like version one, right? You, you can save again, save as, as version two. And now we want to do a proper painting. If you notice the, the head is kind of like a low polygon, uh, you want to subdivide it very quickly um, using this modifier panel. You can add subdivision surface. If it's still kind of faceted like this, you can right click and then shade smooth. So by default, it's shaded flat. Pick shade smooth. So now it's smooth and you can you can paint on this. By default, Susan head already comes with the UV as well. The UV uh, informations that you can use uh, for texture painting. So we can do that now. Texture paint, start painting. Okay, still missing texture, so again, Back to the material under base color we're gonna assign it with image texture and then here click on the new image you can pick a uh, your image this is by default is 1024 by 1024 pixels just uh, hit okay the color you can change to maybe gray color okay now you can start painting this uh the white brush by default white color you can change it over here so there's a lot of option underneath i let you play around with it yourself the nice thing with it again because i'm using the ipad i can just scribble here by default it has this pressure sensitivity i can just turn it off for now just gonna paint with full strength so 
painting Suzanne very very quickly take a random color for the eyeball and give white color and yeah something like that we have something if you are done with this actually uh, you need to save the image texture that you just painted so you go to image editor and look at the, your texture so this is the texture you just give it to Suzanne it's flat and normally it has asterisk here star that that means you, you haven't saved it so save it as monkey texture save image and you can see that the whole shader looks a little bit like this as a nodes um, but you are pretty much done here with, with this. If you now go, let's save this first, file, export, GLB, save it to the desktop as quick demo 2. Um, I'm gonna turn off apply modifier for now. You should actually turn it on because you have this subdivisions modifier applied. So I just export the GLB. Now back into Reality Composer or oh, Reality Converter, we can have. Oops. We can drag and drop this GLB. We have slow poly Suzanne. This is ready to be exported into the iPad, but we want it to be smooth. So export again. Geometry turn on apply modifier and I just did and then this will auto reload and we should have smooth Suzanne sometimes it doesn't load properly just drag and drop it again okay it's smooth Suzanne with the texture already applied it's the material so it's nice with the texture, of course, uh, you can you can find some materials online and uh, let's see. I think I have some materials texture like, for example, the this bamboo that I use often. It's called the PBR material, physically based materials. As you so you can use all kind of materials. And for the base color, uh, I want to use my own. Supposedly, we can multiply it in Blender. So maybe I use the normal and the metallic and roughness. So this is the roughness and this is the metalness. So it looks a little bit like wood. So if we go back to the desktop, we have our monkey texture and just drag and drop it. So this is uh, looking quite nice. So we, I, I'm just gonna share it, airdrop into my iPad once again. Because I'm working on the iPad, I'm recording this on the iPad. I can just send it to itself, save it as USDZ. Okay, once again, I need to scale it. There's a unit, there's this option for unit and etc. So this is the result. Anyway, I should, should have multiplied the, the woo texture, but this is SAR. So it's already done. There's a, this, this thing that I made earlier, actually, uh, this Deadpool is actually quite nice. This is reality, com, uh, reality com, composer app that you can use to bring in your 3D assets usdz from blender and you can just use it you can just drag and drop it it's very easy to use actually if you use blender or other 3d package this is actually super easy to do oh it's trying to find the floor let me try to scan the, f the floor yeah, so this is the character deadpool it's actually coming from Blender if I if I show it to you the original file. So go back to Sidecar. 
So you pretty much knows the basic now. Uh, let's see if I have uh, the Deadpool file here. This asset was from Sketchfab. So this is Deadpool syrup. <laughs> I call it drunk Deadpool. But so originally it was this was from Sketchfab. Um, I forgot the name of the creator, but I I just br bring it to Blender and apply I apply the animation from Mixamo and I just created this and I simply add this can the can is actually the can model is from Sketchfab oops that's intersecting that's not good but the can yeah the can I also imp uh, I got the assets from Sketchfab made a bit of modification mix it change the texture and I just combine the two this dancing that pool and I, I simply export it as GLB the same process and you bring it to a reality converter and after this as USDZ you can bring it to reality composer app so I think the whole thing is really become quite streamlined the whole thing and I, I really think blender really is a great app and it's really complement the the AR augmented reality ecosystem that Apple actually bringing to to us like for the last two years i've been kind of really get really get into it and i think it's really brilliant i think um i suppose um uh, it's really up to you whatever tools and ha uh, hardware that you you pick but i think uh currently i think with the mac os and ios iphone ipad it's uh, it's kind of really really nice to have this See, I'm, I'm actually on the iPad now. This is I'm controlling um, Blender and this is actually just using the iPad. I can actually just close my MacBook Pro or just put it in my bag. Imagine if you have like more portable mini uh, Mac. I don't know. Something that's really small like Apple TV. Maybe we can just carry it in our bag on, or in our pocket and then just plug it into the iPad. And I think that's become a really powerful system for AR. So from here, really, uh, I've been only just using Reality Composer app. I use a little bit of Xcode. I'm not a, like a coder programmer, but if, I, if I'm using other things like Unity or Unreal app, this uh, whole thing is becoming one uh, really powerful system, I think. So this kind of thing become, I think it's really easy to do these days from just using the, your iPad. So I think, yeah. So probably you want to give it a try yourself. If you have any question, just let me know. Okay. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.